Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee k r a p and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort, Phuket. I'm JP Mustanza, and this is the cover of the latest edition of the Phuket News, which comes out today. You can grab your copy at any one of the 500 locations available around the island, including all 7-Elevens and family marts. Now, here's the news you need to know heading into this weekend. Kratom is an illegal drug in Thailand, and police are always on the lookout for it. So that's why authorities busted a driver and two other employees on a Phuket-bound bus from Suratani. It all started because of a robbery complaint from a foreign tourist during a routine check at a checkpoint in t a k u a p a The Belgian tourist thought the bus staff had stolen money from his bag and asked police for help, while the bus had stopped for a routine inspection, and that's when they found 100 grams of the illegal plant. In addition, police also found euro banknotes worth over 7,000 baht, and charges are now being filed. And Prime Minister Prayu c h a n u c h a is landing in Phuket today to kick off a few things on the island, including the new international terminal at the Phuket airport and some other events. The PM arrived earlier today to inaugurate the new terminal, which is set to accommodate 12.5 million passengers a year. From there, PM Prayu will head to the Duang Jit Resort and Spa in Patong. For the opening of Startup Thailand and Digital Thailand, a three-day event includes exhibitions on startups, one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions, startup networking, pitching workshops, among many, many other activities. The PM is also scheduled to chat with other politicals and business leaders at Phuket Rajabat University later this afternoon before heading back to Bangkok tonight. And heads up: if your house is a breeding ground for mosquitoes, you will be fined or even put in jail for a month. The new punishment was announced by the public health minister yesterday as a way to combat the Zika virus, which has risen to 279 confirmed cases in Thailand, which includes 33 pregnant women. Homeowners who allow mosquitoes to breed on their property will be fined between 2 0 to 5,000 baht and/or spend a one month in Thai jail. The law was actually enacted in 1992, but officials are just now going to make sure they follow through and enforce it because of the rise in Zika in Southeast Asia. And stay right there, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. Regis Royal Phuket Marina, ready to use offices for one person or your entire team. Business lounge, meeting rooms, and virtual offices. Regis, work your way. We have created our heartwarming family-style Asian and Western tapas from 2,000 baht net per person at Banyan Tree Phuket. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Narcotics authorities are having a great week as they now seized 60 million baht to the 33 million baht they had already seized at a party for drug traffickers in Khao Yai earlier this week. Narcotics Suppression Bureau police found the 60 million baht along with 10 submachine guns with sound suppressors during a raid at a n o n t a b u r i condo of alleged drug lord Sadayu No Luang Pradabjai. who they say runs a vast drug network in Bangkok and the surrounding provinces. The haul comes after authorities raided 27 locations around Thailand just earlier this week that saw them seize 172,000 meth pills, 11 kilos of crystal meth, over 500 bottles of ketamine, 1,500 ecstasy tablets, and a stockpile of weapons and the aforementioned 33 million baht in cash. And finally, officials at Thai Premier League football club m o n g t o n g United are getting a bit dramatic, saying they'll dissolve the club if Thai football officials are, quote, unfair in punishing clubs because of a fan brawl. Let's backtrack a bit, since this all stems from Wednesday's second leg of the League Cup semi-final match between Port and m o n g t o n g which saw a massive brawl between fans outside the stadium 
that included bottles, sticks, and other weapons as four fans were seriously hurt. 300 cops, 50 soldiers, and three fire trucks were needed to bring the whole thing under control, but now a Tong United official is threatening to dissolve the club if the Football Association of Thailand doesn't punish both teams, quote, fairly. The declarations comes despite the fact that Muang Tong United is currently number one in the Thai Premier League and qualified for the League Cup final against Buri Ram United. So if they dissolve the club, it would put the competition's title races in peril. Welcome to the world of Thai football. And that's it for today's Phuket Extra, but before we go, we want to know if you're breathing a sigh of relief that the new international terminal at the airport is finally open. And what do you think of Muang Tong United threatening to dissolve if punishment is unfair? Let us know in the comments. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thanks for watching. Catch us on Phuket Extra Extra tomorrow, where we'll catch you up on all the top five stories of the week. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. <laughs> Visit Nukti Putik Resort, Kata Beach, the one and only real putik hotel in Thailand. Mouthwatering Thai and Western home cooking for amazing prices.